Hey guys, we're at Loophold uh, with Mike back. Did I say that right? Michael Bocciolieri, the product there applications training coordinator for, coordinator for Loophold and Stevens. coming out with this here for 2015 is the Devo, the dual enhanced view optic. And essentially what it is, it's, it's a periscope turned sideways, so there's a mirrored system in there. It goes around whatever red dot system you have on the, on the gun. So basically we built it non-proprietary for our LCO. This is our Leopold Combat, our carbine optic. But uh, this can work in conjunction with any pre-existing red dot on the market. So if you have an Aimpoint, EOTech, whatever you're running, uh, you can grab this and augment your system instead of having to rethink it. So what it does is instead of using a magnifier behind it to magnify the image through any kind of red dot or um, a flip-up magnifier or having to change your magnification on a one to whatever, like a low variable powered optic, what this does is it's a standalone optic in and of itself. So it uses kind of a bifocal mentality and as you, as you get your proper eye relief and your cheek weld and you're looking over the top of the optic through your red dot, you simply take your eyes and you shift your vision about a six degree angle plane down and now you have a six power magnified optic with a ballistic drop compensated reticle uh, out to 600 yards that's calibrated for, a, it's a hybrid reticle that's calibrated for both a 5.56 as well as a 7.62. Cool. Yeah, I got to play with it a little bit yesterday. It's crazy uh, when, if you get your cheek weld right. And I know it takes, there's a little bit of learning curve, but when, once you get it down and get your cheek weld right, you can actually see both reticles, the red dot and, and the magnified, and it just depends on which one you focus on. You only have to move your eyes. Yeah, they kill really it just cool. completely. And so, so some things to think about when you first get behind the Devo and you're first mounted up and getting your eye relief down there is that... Your, your normal eye relief is going to be a little bit tighter on this and a little bit different due to the fact that you're on, on a, any standard scope, your ocular lens is vertical. On this, it's angled, right, so that you can look down into it. So that closes up your eye box a little bit, okay? And then the other thing that's really hard to get over is when you're mounted, just like most of us normally would with kind of a, like our hammer with the delta point on top or maybe the trigicon with the RMR up top, is not one to gooseneck up. You literally just have to shift your eyes down and up, and it opens up a whole new world and makes it... Uh, untrained shooter incredibly fast. And then you guys fixed the, uh, okay, not fixed by any means, but uh, took in consideration the issue about the optic being off to the right side of the barrel. So you guys did something with your reticle in there to, yes. to counteract because your windage, is the farther out you go, is going to be off. Well, it's not, it's, yes, there's a 1.5 inch offset with this, right? And uh, so it's it's not the windage, but it creates windage right. on your, on your basically your line of sight and your bullet flight uh, intersection that, that's created there because um, they're they're offset from each other so as you zero them you need to create intersections on that bullet drop points on your reticle so you'll notice as you're looking in there from top to bottom that reticle is going to cant off to the right from from left to right and what that's doing is as that triangle that intersection just gets elongated farther and farther out that reticle has got to be offset even more and so that's already act compensated into the reticle. a lot of people as soon as we got them on it they thought they had a broken prototype model, you know, they're going, hey, something's going on with this reticle. It's like, no, it's all by design. Yeah, it's all that's right. It's all been predetermined points. That's so cool. they've really thought about uh, just about everything with this system. It's really cool. Make sure you check it out. Uh, if you ever uh, get an opportunity to shoot with one, uh, definitely try it. Uh, one other thing real exciting uh, that I want to tell you guys is Mike uh, just committed to buying 10,000 of our new uh, Samson DMR scope mouse. So thank you very much, Mike. Appreciate it.